All right, let's take a look at the testing device we're going to use to work on the MF-102, the device that's behind me. So as we work on the training aid, one of the things we're going to be able to do is a bypass test. Now, a bypass test we use to check the pump's flow rate. And so to do that, we're going to use this flow meter right here. So as we hook up from the pump into this side connector here, and we open up this needle valve or this restrictor flow control right here, we're going to send the flow through the flow meter, and it's going to go back through this line, and we're going to connect that back to the tank on the board. That's going to give us a reading as the motor's moving and the pump's producing flow. It's going to give us a reading of what the pump is going to produce. At that same time, we're going to see on this gauge right here, we're going to see the pressure that's being read or seen in the system from the return line or the restriction. Now, this needle valve is going to create a restriction, and it's after the pressure gauge. So we're actually going to be able to turn this up. And as we turn this needle valve in, we're going to actually be able to increase the restriction on the pump's outlet. That's going to raise pressure here, and what we're going to be able to see is what is the pump's flow rate even under load. That's going to help us determine the level of wear within the pump as we measure its volumetric efficiency drop from low pressure to high pressure. Of course, that volumetric efficiency drop is happening because the internal leakage is getting greater with a greater pressure drop as we create the restriction on the outlet side of the pump port.